Hi. In this lesson, we're going to build the one click SharePoint app. It's an app I kind of know and love because it was actually the first app that I ever built. And for me, I still think it's amazing that you can build apps as simply as this. Now, we will need to do some setups because we need a data source to work with. But essentially, it is really, really straightforward to build this app and it will be usable on your phone, etc. So I think the thing to do is for just for us to just have a go at building this app together. So here I am in Office 365. Now, I did say that we'd have to do some setup. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a team. It is straightforward to create a team. So I'm going to go to teams. And there aren't any teams in this tenant. So what I'll do is we will create a team together. Now I'm going to use the web app because I think it's just a bit more straightforward to do that for this demo purposes. Now it's offered me a team already, which is kind of helpful. Um, I'm just going to look on uh, files. I think this is an organization wide team, but it's it's kind of OK. We can't get to your files. We're getting them back. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that because I'm actually going to uh, create a new team. So down the bottom here, join or create a team. Uh, create a team. Build a team from scratch. It's going to be a private team. Give the team a name um, and I will uh, then think of a team, uh, Team Marvel, Team Marvel, okay, and I'm going to click create on that. And what that's going to do in the background, it's actually going to build some share, build um, some SharePoint bits and pieces. Now, I can actually add people into this team, and, and if you uh, you can see that we've got I've got one other. Um, person in this uh, in this uh, tenant that we created and it's called tester and I can add that person to the team and click close. Now if I go to files you can see that there are no files. Now just bear in mind that it actually takes a couple of minutes, it might be five, ten minutes before this files will actually appear. But the reason why I wanted to get you to the files piece is because you got the option to open in SharePoint. Now we'll just check something here. No, we don't want to add a file in there. What we're going to do is we want to do open in SharePoint. The reason for that is we need a data source for our uh, for our Power App, and the way in which we're going to do that is we've just navigated to SharePoint. Then I'm going to navigate to Home. And then I'm going to click on the new um, uh, button here and it's given me an option of this thing called a list. Now, this is where I wanted to get to. So I'm going to click on new list. Essentially, a list is what it sounds like. Um, and what I'm going to do is create a timesheet list, time sheet um, and click create. So what we can do is we can do timesheet. I can do things like add columns. Uh, so I'm going to add a column as uh, I will add in a number um, and it will ask me um, time worked. Um, so maybe this is an overtime sheet. Um, number of decimal places is a maximum of one. Uh, and the default number is going to be, may as well, might as well just say the default number's zero. Um, and we'd probably make this actually a required field. Uh, required this column contains information that would make sense. Um, and I will then click save. Now, um, what else would we need? Well, we probably need the date that the work was uh, the date was carried out. So I'm going to click date and time and you've got an option to include time. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do date worked. 
Now I can now just click save on that and we're nearly ready to be able to um, to create our app, believe it or not. Um, now on this one, which is title is a very awkward field because it will always be called title. Um, it doesn't matter what you do with it under the hood, it will always be called title. Um, and we could we could maybe rename it Colling Settings rename um, work performed. Okay, uh, so work performed under the hood though, it will be called title. Now, the reason why we're here, I did say it was a one click app and it is a one click app. So we're now gonna click on Power Apps. I'm gonna click on Create an App. Um, I'm gonna do uh, Timesheet App. And I'm gonna click Create. So what that's gonna do is it's going to build for me a, a three screen app that uses the fields that are in our SharePoint list uh, to uh, so that we can have an app. Now this app will actually work for any of the users that are that this has been shared with um, and it will work on their phones. Now just bear in mind that the sharing of an app and the sharing of data is not the same thing. So you might get caught out by that. So here is our app. It's quite cool. Um, I And what I can do is I can uh, start previewing the app and hit the plus icon here. Now it does its best at, um, at doing things here. And so I can put title, you can see that it's actually coming with title. I did say that it would probably do that. Um, so the time worked, it's got a default of zero. Let's just say it was one point five what we were working on packing uh, shelves um, and we can say what the date that uh, the work was done on and let's just say it was on the 12th uh, of August I'm going to click OK now in my case I don't need to attach a file you can actually attach files I'm going to avoid that at the moment uh, and I'm going to click the um, the accept uh, button here and now you can see that the app is actually working but we can do other things here as well. So what we can do here is we can uh, insert a label and get that there. And notice that it's actually brought in my name automatically. Now it didn't have to, it's actually this item dot created by display name. Um, and you can do lots of all the usual things like um, do fill properties and so on. So if you get a home, then you can actually do things like, I don't do fill from here usually, but you can actually do a fill property like this. Um, and you know we can add some more items in here. I'm gonna hit the plus icon and then uh, test one, two, three, time worked is uh, three hours and the date worked is on the 11th. I'm going to click OK and then OK on that. And you can see that I've got another item has come in now. Um, and in fact, we could actually test this out using our tester, um, but I'm not I'm going to leave that one for the moment. So I'm going to click OK on that. OK there. And I'm going to do file and then save the app. And I'm gonna publish app because saving it doesn't mean it's available to everyone yet. Publishing does mean that it's available. And I'm gonna click publish this version. Fantastic. So that, uh, that gives you an idea that you can create an app. Now I can share it, uh, but uh, what I'll do is I will, um, I'll I'll put it into the team in order to in fact no I will I will actually share it so I'm going to click share and I'm going to share it with my tester as well so click on share um, and you can actually type in everyone here every one um, in data spinners that's kind of nice and easy um, I'm not saying I would recommend it um, and you can share with Azure Active Directory groups if that means anything to you. Don't worry if it doesn't. Uh, and I've just clicked uh, share there. And that's now shared with this test user. Uh, uh, I'm going to cancel out of that and I can click on the play icon um, or we could just um, later on 
we will add various apps into our Teams just to see how that works. Um, I can now click on the web link um, here and it will now play the app for me. But just bear in mind, you can actually go to the App Store at this point in time and you can download the app onto your phone and start using it. So that's all I wanted to cover in this uh, this session. This is the one click SharePoint app. I think they're really, really neat uh, and I thoroughly recommend that you use it. I'm actually going to do one more thing um, that I quite often do with these because what I do is I move on to settings uh, and then I go to screen size and orientation. Then I go to landscape and then I go to apply. And the reason why this is good is because I kind of made a um, an app that has got, you know, it's not far off being possible to to have this on a screen. Now, clearly you change all the sizes of different bits and pieces, but you know, you could, you could use that firstly on your phone and also on your, um, on uh, a desktop uh, with a desktop experience. So it's a kind of cheats way of having uh, a tablet app essentially.